the definition for an explicit formula was kind of uh, touched upon in the previous video, 6.1. Um, so what an explicit formula is, again, is just a relationship between your term number, which is your independent variable, and then the term value, which is the dependent variable. Now, a recursion formula is kind of like an explicit formula, but it consists of two parts. So it's better to kind of show you through an example. Here is a recursion formula. Notice that you're still looking for your term value by subbing in um, an n, which is your term number. Okay. The only thing is there's this other part that we didn't have before. So this is your second part, and that requires um, tn minus 1. That means your previous term's value. Okay, so you're not only um, involving your current term value, but you're also involving the previous term value. So let me show you how it works. They've told us that the first term is 11, and they want you to find the first five terms. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find T2, since they've already found T1 for us. Okay, so I'm starting off with this formula right now. N equals to 2. So t n minus 1, and then I'm going to subtract 4. So the second term is equal to term 2 minus 1 is just 1, and then minus 4. Well, I know what t1 is. The term value for t1 is circled in red, and that's your 11. Okay, so I've used the previous term value in order to find my current term value. That's the whole idea of recursion uh, formulas and procedures. Okay, so your term value uh, for your second term is 7. Now we're going to do the same thing for your third, fourth, and fifth term. Okay, so you have t3 minus 1 minus 4, which is t2. And we already found T2, it is right here, so that's going to be 7, which is 3, okay, so that's T3, and I'm going to find T4 now, so it looks like you have to find um, or use your third term value right here. And then your fifth term. Okay, so I need another color because I don't have enough colors now. Let's do yellow. All right, so then we have, um, that was negative one. Okay, whoops, I guess I skipped a step, but that's okay, you understand the gist of it. Okay. That means that the first five terms are going to be 11, circled in red, and then 7, 3, negative 1, and negative 5. All right, let's try it again. Okay, so here's one that's a little bit more complicated. Here's our recursion formula, and we're going to find the first five terms. It looks like they've already done the first and the second one for you. Okay, so all we have to find is a third, fourth, and fifth. So let's start off with the third. Since we're using that recursion formula, my n is 3, which means I have 2 times 3 minus 2 plus t3 minus 1 is 2t1 plus t2. And we already know what t1 and t2 are. So you're going to have 2 times negative 2 plus 3 and that's going to equal negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Okay, t4 is equal to 2 times t4 minus 2 plus t4 minus 1 And then T2 was 3, yes. Okay. Plus T3, which we just found. 
Okay, so that's going to be 6 minus 1, because those guys combine to a minus, and that's going to be 5. And then my last term, t5, 2, t5 minus 2, and 5 minus 1. It's 2 times t3 plus t4. Then we have t3, which was the negative 1. And then plus your t4, so let's do yellow again. All right, and then we're going to get negative 2 plus 5, which is um, 3. Okay, so the first five terms here, they gave us in red, first of all, is negative 2, and then in green was 3, and then we found the last 3. Okay, let's try another question. So they want you to write an explicit formula, so a regular formula, but it has to be determined by um, the sequence uh, formed from the recursion formula. Okay, so we're going to take a recursion formula and we're going to find maybe several terms. Um, I think four or five would be a good number. So let's find the first couple terms. Here's your first term. And we're going to use the recursion formula right here. So I'm going to find my second term. That means n is 2 at the moment, so I'm going to go 2 minus 1. That means t1, which we have. Okay, that's that, negative 5, plus 3. Okay, so that's our second term. And our third term. Whoops. I know what my second term is, we just found it. Okay, so that was the negative 2. And let's find maybe one more. Okay, so t3 plus 3, and our third term was right here. I mean, you can find more if you really want to, um, but you only need I would say minimum three, but four to be safe to kind of figure out um, the pattern. Okay, so I have all my numbers there, and it goes in a sequence of negative five in red, and then green, and then your blue, and then the last one that we found. Okay, now I'm just going to move down for more space. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to try to figure out an explicit formula that describes this sequence. We're going to use the exact same method we did in the previous um, tutorial, where you go term number and term value. So the first term is negative 5, second term was negative 2, and then third, whoops, third term is 1 and then the fourth term was 4 and to find out the pattern I'm just gonna see what my first differences are and you do that by taking the bottom which was negative 2 minus the one on top of it okay so that's gonna become a plus and then you take again the bottom minus the number on top so it looks like it keeps going up by threes, and this is why I wanted um, at least four terms to kind of see if I had some sort of a pattern. And it looks like they keep increasing by threes. So if all of these are the exact same, that means your first differences are indicating it is some sort of a linear function. Okay, so that three is going to come in handy uh, when you start your explicit formula. It's going to go right in front of your term number. Okay, now there's still something at the back, and I'm going to test that because if I take my term number and I put it into my n, my term value should equal to negative 5. But that doesn't seem to be the case because 3 times 1 is just 3. So to force it to become a negative 5, I'm probably going to subtract 8 at the back. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to see if it works for something else. Let's say 
If I take the 3 and plug it in there, that's 3 times 3, which is 9. Minus 8 does give you the 1, so we're good. Okay, this is the explicit formula that then describes um, the sequence created from the recursion formula.